<laughs> Jeffy, get in here. My bibs, they removed Aunt Jamumu off the syrup bottle. What? Aunt Jamumu, the lady that was on the syrup bottle, she ain't there no more. Marvin, I think he's talking about how they took Aunt Jemima off the bottle. Oh, they did that like two years ago, Dougie. Why'd they do that? Because they said syrup was racist or something. Psh, boy, I don't know who no PR milling company is, but I'm gonna have to use Mrs. Buttersworks because she got the fat ass. Well, then use that then. All right. Jeffy, get in here! Hey, Danny, can I wear my high as fuck frog icy school today? No, Jeffy. Why? Because you're gonna distract the class. Well, they don't have to look at me. Take them off, Jeffy. Now, did you eat breakfast? No. But can I drink this entire bottle of syrup for breakfast? No! Why? You never let me do anything fun! All you do is say no! He kinda has a point, Marvin. You do say no a lot. He keeps asking to do stupid shit! Well, Marvin, I have an idea. The other day, I was at the thrift store, and I found this coin. It says yes on one side and no on the other side. So from now on, instead of you just saying no all the time, we can flip it for the answer. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. I like that idea. Mommy, can I wear my highest fuck frog icy school today? I don't know, Jeffy. Let's see. It says no. You can't wear it. Darn it! I like this idea. That was a good idea, baby. Thank you. Mommy, can I drink this entire bottle of syrup for breakfast? I don't know. It says yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffy, that's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, now that you're going to die of diabetes, you have to go to school. Well, let's get the coin. Can I skip school today? Uh, no, you can't skip school. Now, Marvin, we have to flip the coin to see what it says. Skipping school should be off limits. Jeffy, it said yes, you can skip school! Yay, I love this coin! Now, Daddy, what have you had for breakfast? Nothing. Well, can I make you a milkshake and no matter what I put in it, you have to drink it? No! Coin! Yes! <laughs> drink up, bitch! Alright, Chef Jeffy's gonna make my daddy a healthy breakfast milkshake. We're gonna start off with one egg. Also, some garlic. Oh, yeah, definitely mayonnaise. That's breakfast. Oh, yeah, harder, harder. And then now some mustard. And then also some chili beans. Oh yeah, that sounds like poop. Alright, and then obviously green beans because my daddy makes me eat green beans all the time. And then some corn. Oh yeah, that's gonna come out of his poop liner. And then some toilet paper. Whenever he's done going to the bathroom, he can wipe. And then obviously don't forget some Pepto-Bismol just in case he gets sick. Alright. And then we're gonna top it off with some oat milk. All right, let's get this baby on the road. <laughs> oh yeah, my daddy's gonna love this. But I feel like it's missing something. Hmm. Oh, a cactus! For that matter. All right, it's perfect. Now let's take it to daddy. All right, Danny, order up. Your breakfast milkshake is ready. Bone apple titties. Wait, wait, what's in this? Diarrhea. What? No, I'm just kidding, but there is toilet paper in there. Well, what's that blue thing? Cactus. I'm not drinking a milkshake with a cactus in it, Jeffy. But Danny, the coin said that you had to drink it, and I even got you a Chuck E. Cheese straw. No, I don't care what the coin says. I'm not gonna drink your disgusting throw up milkshake. I don't have to do it. I don't care what the coin says. I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you? I am the Plot Hole Goblin. I'm here to stop Plot Holes from ending the video too early. Plot Holes? What Plot Holes? The milkshake, Marvin. You have to drink the milkshake. Well, no, I don't. I don't have to do what that stupid coin tell me to do. Yes, you do, because the coin is cursed. <laughs> what? The coin is cursed? Where'd you get the coin? I got it from the thrift store. A cursed thrift store. Everything in there is cursed, except for the prices. <laughs> okay, so how is the coin cursed? Well, you must do everything the coin tells you for 15, no, 20 questions, or else you and all your loved ones will be thrown in a pit of hell to burn until your flesh falls from your bones. Oh, 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 and the only person that can ask the questions is Jeffy, because he asked the first question. <laughs> Okay, Jeffy, hurry up and ask me questions like, did I fart? Have I blinked? No! The questions have to be a task. Like, you have to do something, and it has to be funny. Uh, okay, so Jeffy, ask me a question. No! 
Drink the milkshake first, Marvin. I'll be watching. <laughs> oh my god. This is so why is it happening to me? Why'd you have to go to a cursed thrift store? I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me try to drink this milkshake. <laughs> Oh god, I couldn't stop throwing up. That was the worst milkshake ever. You want another one? What? No, no, no. Oh, thank god it said no. Oh darn, I really wanted to make you another milkshake, daddy. All right, Jeffy, hurry up and ask some questions. All right, can I shave off your mustache and turn you into a girl? What? No, no. no. <laughs> Dang, now you look all pretty pretty. Marvin, you look terrible. Okay, I don't look that bad. That's pretty bad. Danny, what are your pronouns? Because now you get to put them on Facebook and Instagram and act like people give a fuck. Look, everyone just stop looking at me. Jeffy, ask another question. All right, Daddy, can we TP the neighbor's house for toilet paper? Let's see if you guys are committing a crime tonight. Yes. Oh, well, I actually don't like the neighbors, so let's go do it, Jeffy. Sweet. Marvin. Okay, Jeffy, we're going to throw toilet paper all over their house, so be really quiet, okay? Okay. I'm going to go first. Yeah. Ha ha, see look, there's toilet paper all over the house. You go now. All right. Yeah. Run! Hold on, honey. I'm gonna go check and see what was banging on the garage door. It sounded like a raccoon. Toilet paper? Now who would be handing out free toilet paper in this economy? <laughs> now wait just a darn second. Did someone try TP in my house? Those damn hooligans. I'm gonna go ask the neighbor and see if they saw anything. Oh, mommy, it's wild. It's crazy in this bitch. We TP'd the whole house. The whole house is covered in toilet paper. It looks like a mummy. My heart's racing, and as we were running away, I heard sirens. My life is a movie. Are you guys okay? I'm as okay as I can be after being chased by the cops. Well, hold on, there's someone at the door. I'll, I'll get it. Hello. Can I speak to Marvin, please? I am Marvin. Jesus Christ. I won't ask about your pronouns. I'll just check them out on Facebook later. But I came by to let you know that there's been a crime committed at the Huckerdoo household. What crime? Someone thought it would be funny to TP the Huckerdoo home. And I think one of them was a retard because they just threw the entire roll of toilet paper right at the garage door. It made me think it was a raccoon. Oh, well, I, I didn't hear anything or see anything. Okay, I just didn't know if maybe your uh, Nest doorbell camera or something caught all the footage. Oh, no, I don't I don't pay for that to work. It just, it just It's just there. Ah, so like a scarecrow, huh? <laughs> anyway, I just want to let you know that I will be reporting this to the HOA. So just keep your eyes peeled. And I do have a question for you. Did you, uh, like cut the whole thing off or just tuck it in your booty cheeks? Uh, I, I'm just dressing up. Okay. Uh, well then, uh, I'll let you get back to transitioning, okay? All right, bye. Bye. Right. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was Hank Huckerdoo. What? Did he know you TP'd his house? Did he call the cops? He didn't call the cops. He doesn't know it's us, but I did get an idea. What if all of Jeffy's remaining questions are about the Huckerdoos and we can torture them instead of me? Marvin, that's mean. No, it's better them than me. Jeffy, do you have any other questions about the Huckerdoos? Um, yeah. Can we order 12 pizzas to the Huckerdoos house as a prank? Let's ask the coin. <gasps> yes. It says yes. Yay! Call and order, Jeffy. All right. La, 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 delivering pizzas. Hello. Hello, sir. I have the 12 pizzas you ordered. Who the fuck would order 12 pizzas at 11 o'clock at night? I don't know. Maybe you're having a pizza party. Well, I'm not. So you can take them back with you. We don't want them. Return to sender. Capiche? But sure, someone's got to pay for these pizzas. Listen, we don't want the goddamn pies, honey. What is going on out here? This pizza boy thinks that we ordered 12 pies at 11 o'clock at night. We didn't. So I'm gonna let you deal with it, okay? You're good with dealing with kids with special needs. Now, young man, we did not order 12 pizzas. Well, ma'am, listen, someone's gotta pay the $300.22 for all these pizzas. Well, we don't have that kind of money. Well, you could always pay in another way. Let's just say instead of you giving me a tip, I give you a tip. Well, I do love pizza. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. You know what, never mind, I think I'll just take the cash. Oh my god, Jeffy, they really tried to deliver the pizza. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. As long as we're using that coin to mess with other people instead of me. Marvin, I don't like this coin. It's evil and it's meant to do bad things. I wish we could just get rid of it. We can't get rid of it until we ask it like 13 more questions. There must be something we can do. Hmm, I do have an idea. Hey, plot hole goblin, get in here. <laughs> what do you want? Well, we're kind of getting tired of asking the coin questions. Well, too bad. You have to. Well, Jeffy, ask the coin this. 
Okay, I got it. What? what? No, no, no. Jeffy, ask the coin. Can we stop asking the coin questions and not be cursed? Okay. Can we stop asking the coin questions and not be cursed? But, no, you can't do that. But we're asking the coin. But, well, uh, well, damn it. No. <laughs> Ask it again. Okay. Can we stop asking the coin questions and not be cursed? Oh, damn it. Yes. Yay! Yay! We're not cursed anymore. You guys won this time, but I'll be back next time a video has a plot hole. <laughs> Um, that, ain't, that actually looks like the booger I wiped on the back of the couch like a year ago. Karen, 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 there's a job listing to be a waiter at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Another job, Boiny? Why don't you just stay home and relax with me? But Karen, the pay on this job's gonna be crazy. How much? Four dollars an hour. Boiny, that's nothing! Yeah, but the meals are crazy expensive, so the tips are gonna be like a thousand dollars each. If I do one table an hour, I get like a thousand dollars an hour. Wow, that's a lot of money, Boiny, but are you sure that's gonna actually happen? Oh, trust me, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna come home with at least $8,000 today. Wow, well, okay, Boiny. Okay, I'm gonna go apply for the job. Good luck! Chef Peepee, when I tried these mandarin oranges that you prepared for me, my tongue went on a vacation. But the flight got cancelled, and they lost my luggage. And on the way home, I got into a car accident and became a paraplegic. And the nurse taking care of me shit my oatmeal. Now piss off and never cook again! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ramsey. What do you want? You're in my kitchen, you bum! Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a bum, sir. I, I'm here about a job. I heard you were hiring waiters. Oh, right. Here. There's your dress. Now, a table just walked in, so piss off! Oh, okay, yes, got it. Pissing off, sir. Hey there, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. My name is Brooklyn, and I'll be your waiter. Ooh, father, father, he just said us so where? Timmy, shut the fuck up. You want me to take you outside and put you across my knee? But he just said hell! You want to go to the car? No, sir. Timmy, look at me. Look at me. Zip it. Yes, sir. All right. Sorry about him. He's a little weasel. No, that's okay. I was just going to ask if you guys wanted something to drink. I'll have your largest bottle of wine. Oh, well, in that case, I'd recommend the Cabernet Sauvignon. Great. I'll have two. Okay, two of those. And I'll have the sun kissed on the rocks. <laughs> okay, I can do that. And I'll have a glass of milk. Uh, we don't have any milk, but we do have coffee creamer. He'll take a glass of that. Okay, sure. I want a Capri Sun. Uh, we don't have that either. Aw, man. Just get her a sun kiss on the rocks, too. Okay, two sun kisses. Uh, can I get you guys started with an appetizer? Yeah, we'll take a bloomin' onion and also a baked potato with all the fixins. Okay. And I want cheese fries. Okay. Cheese sticks. Uh, we don't have cheese sticks. You don't have anything that I like. Just get her an order of the macaroni and cheese poppers. Okay. I'll have a side piece of salad with light dressing. And extra croutons, because you know my fingers are going to find their way over to your plate and take a couple. And extra croutons. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Too. Aren't you gonna write this down? Oh no, I don't need to. Get it all up here. Amazing! You can remember all that? Yep. Say it back. Oh, well, you guys wanted uh, two sun kissed on the rocks, two bottles of Cabernet, a glass of coffee creamer, a uh, bloomin' onion, a loaded baked potato, cheese fries, mac and cheese poppers, a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Simply amazing! Absolutely brilliant. We got ourselves a little Einstein over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go put all that in and I'll be back to take your order. Uh, actually, we're ready to order now. But you are? You, you sure you don't want me to just run that in real quick? Unless you don't think you can remember it. Oh no, I, I can remember it. It <laughs> hit me. Ow! You did say hit you. I, I did. I just meant tell me what you want. Alright! I'll take the reins and go first. I'll have the 18 ounce bone in ribeye. Cooked well done. Butterflied with a little bit of blue cheese crumbles on top with some salt and pepper. Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember a goddamn thing this man is saying. This is the longest order I've ever heard. Why didn't I just write it down? Why did I have to say I had a good memory? Oh my god, he's still talking. Can't you just order like a normal person? Okay, I have to at least pretend I'm listening. Chives, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got all that. Ooh, ooh, I want an eight ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup. Ah, uh, 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 Timmy, you know your mother always orders after the man of the house, the one that does all the yard work. Yes, sir. All right, honey, take it away. Uh, what's on your maple barbecue chicken? Well, ma'am, I would assume maple and barbecue. Oh, no, I do not want that. I'll have the grilled salmon with four coconut shrimp. I want the lemon on the side and clean the rind. Okay, I can do that, too. 
But would you like to order now? Father, may I please order now? You may. Okay, so I want the 8 ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard on the side. I also want individual sides of lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, ooh, and two pieces of bread. Wait, instead of bread, can I get buns? Would you just like a burger? No, I want it how I ordered it. Okay. I don't see PB and J on here. All right, I'll take the reins on that one too in order for. She'll have the shrimp and chicken fettuccine, whatever the fuck. And make sure you cut up the noodles to about a cinnamon meter size or so, so she doesn't choke on it. Okay, yeah, I got that too. You got all that? Oh, yeah, I got all of it, yep. Yeah, I'd ask you to read it back to me, but I'm sure you got it with that big old brain of yours. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, boy, do I have it. I'm gonna go put all of that in. Now that's a man that can listen. Honey, don't fucking start. Oh, man, I don't remember a goddamn thing those people just ordered. I mean, I remember the drinks and the appetizers, but I don't know what their actual meal is. Damn it, guy, why did you have to brag about being good at remembering stuff? Wait, a what do they want? Uh, they're coming. Yes, Mr. Ramsey? You gotta give me their order, or you gotta stand around with your dick in your hand. Oh, no, 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 sir, no dicks in hand. Well, then give me their order! Okay, so they wanted a, 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 a loaded baked potato. Uh, 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 you didn't fucking write it down! No, I don't need to write it down. I can remember it. Well, clearly you can't, because you're over there, uh, 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 black. Like an idiot. Give me their order. Okay, uh, they wanted a loaded baked potato and a bloomin' onion and cheese fries and mac and cheese bites and a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Now, was that so fucking hard? A little bit. All right, well then piss off and go get them their drinks and then give me their order. Okay, yes, I will go get them their order. All right, now piss off. Okay, you lovely people, I have your drinks, your two sun kissed on the rocks, your coffee creamer, sir. Ma'am, there are your two bottles of Cabernet. Oh, thank you. Now, sir, you ordered the, uh, uh, well, you know, you know what you ordered. We both know. You don't have to say it unless you want to. That would be fine. Uh, but the chef uh, doesn't believe that you ordered the thing that you wanted the way you wanted it. So maybe if you said it out loud, you might realize you don't actually want that. No, that's exactly what I want. Hmm. Well, maybe if you said it out loud, you would hear like an ingredient in there that's kind of weird and you might change your mind. You didn't forget, did you? Oh, no, no. Me? Forget? No, I never forget anything. No, no, not me. Now, honey, you know he has an amazing memory. Oh, uh, yeah. We got Megamind as our waiter. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Megan Mike. But see, the chef, uh, he, he didn't believe me when I told him what you wanted. You know, he, he didn't think somebody would order that the way you ordered it. So so maybe maybe if you, uh, you just said that on video, exactly what you told me, and I could show the chef and he'd believe you. No way, Kim Osabi. I don't like being recorded. I don't want Mark Zucker Facebook spying on me. Yeah, of course not. Uh, so, so maybe uh, just your voice. You know, you could just talk and tell the chef what you wanted. Just say, hey, chef, this is what I want, and then tell him exactly what you told me. All right. Hey, chef, this is what I want. I want the 18 ounce bone in ribeye well done butterfly so we make sure it's well done with blue cheese crumbles and salt and pepper. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I got one of their orders, but he's a big fan, so he wanted to record it in a video for some reason. No phones in my kitchen! Well, if you just listen to it, you can hear what he wants. No, you go get their full order and you come back here and read it to me. Make sure you write it down. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I will do that, sir. Where the fuck are you going? I was gonna go get their orders. There's the appetizers ready. You take them out there to them. Uh, well, sir, it's gonna take me like four trips. No, you're a waiter. It's your job to carry all the food out there. And if you can't do it with the two hands that you have, I suggest you grow two more hands. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try to... Get the fucking food out of my I'm kitchen going, now! I'm going, I'm going. Whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Okay, screw it, they're not getting appetizers. Okay, sir, the chef believes you now and he started cooking your food. Perfect. And you, ma'am, what you ordered was just incredible. Really inspiring. No one has ever ordered something like that before. Really? Yes, really, and the chef liked it so much he wants to make it a permanent menu item, so just take this pen and then write on the menu exactly what you ordered the way you told me. But it's already on the menu! Not the way you ordered it, it's not, so just write that down because it's special. So, what was your name again, ma'am? Suzanne. Suzanne. We're gonna call it the Suzanne Special, just for you. Honey, you hear that? I'm gonna be famous! That's what we call special treatment. Now you, kid, you ordered a hamburger. No, I didn't. Nah, you kinda did. But I didn't order that. Well, the, the chef said he refused to make what you ordered because I totally remember what that was. And he said he's gonna make you a hamburger, so you're getting a hamburger. But I wanted to- You're getting a hamburger. Okay. Now you, girl, you wanted a- PB and J! Yes, and you know what, princess? I will make that special just for you. With crunchy peanut butter? You got it. Well, hold on. What about what she actually ordered? Cause she can't have all that sugar. Well, you know what? I will make her a special sugar free peanut butter jelly. Oh, wow. That's what you call going above and beyond, just like Buzz Lightyear. Yep, that's right. Oh, Ma'am, you done with that menu? Yes, here you go. 
thank you. We're gonna frame this. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. What about the appetizers? Uh, I have bad news about the appetizers. See, uh, this is coming from the chef, because I would never do this to you people. Uh, see, he said that the appetizers were for the lunch menu, and, and this, this is the dinner menu, so you're not getting appetizers. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I get everybody's order written down. Took you long enough! Yeah, I do need to go to Walmart real quick to get the stuff to make a PB&J. PB&J? This is a Michelin star fucking restaurant! We don't serve PB&J here! Yeah, but you see, that, that girl, she has an allergy, that, an allergic to everything but PB&J allergy, so I need to do that for her. Well, there's fucking gluten, sugar, and peanuts in a PB&J! What the fuck is she not allergic to? Hey, I'm just telling you what she said, so I'll be right back. Well, hurry up! Okay, sir, I got the PB&J in my back pocket. I'm keeping it warm. All right, the food's ready. And let whoever ordered the salmon know that I didn't have any lemons, so I'd use a spare squash that I found. Okay, sure. I mean, you're the chef. I'll just take all this out tonight. Mm-mm-mm. I got everybody's food. Sir, I got your steak and baked potatoes. I got your hamburger. Aww. I got your PB&J. You didn't cut the crust off? Yeah, well, you didn't tell me to. Aww. Yeah, so eat it. And I got your fish. The lemons have a lot of seeds in them. Yeah, well, that's because the chef actually ran out of lemons, and he had to substitute lemons for squash. Well, did he clean the rind first? Uh, yes, he did. Oh, S good. S sir, what are you doing? You call this well done? It's still mooing at me. It's saying, cook me moo. Yeah, I I'm really sorry about that, sir, and I would take it back, but you see, Gordon Ramsay refuses to cook anything well done. And where are my blue cheese crumbles? He refused to do that, too. He said they were moldy and he threw them away. Ah, good call. Okay, so everybody enjoy your food and let me know if you need anything. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I gave him their food. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go check on him. Hey, everybody, how's the food? I see you ate it all. It was disgusting. Disgusting? Yeah, it was too chewy. I'd like you to take it off the bill, please. Oh, sir, I can't do that. You ate it all, even the bone. Yeah, but it was gross. I had to eat it all the way through to make sure it was still disgusting, and it was. And my lemons didn't add much flavor. Well, that's because it was squash. I like my burger. Oh, well, that's good. Can we order dessert? You sure can. All right, honey, I'll take it from here. We'd like to do the creme brulee with extra berries, the cheesecake with a mixed berry compote, a chocolate mousse and a bread pudding with a scoop of ice cream, a chocolate cookie, and it's also my birthday, so I'll take whatever free dessert comes with that. Actually, you know what? I just remembered that the kitchen's closed, so I can't give you any of that. Oh, darn. That's a darn shame. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so here's the bill. Uh, who do I give this to? You can give it to the kids. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very good, sir. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here, and I'll be back. All right, I'll take care of this old dog. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, they ate all of it. <coughs> what do the burps mean, Mr. Ramsey? Okay, I I'm gonna go get their bill. Oh, thank God they're finally gone. Oh, but that big tip's gonna be worth it, though. What, what the hell is this? Don't step in front of a moving train? What does that mean? Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. My wife left her necklace on the table. Hey, hey, just real quick. Uh, for the tip, you said don't step in front of a moving train. What's that about? Yeah, pretty good tip, huh? Well, I mean, tips are usually supposed to be money. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't leave cash. We just leave tips as in, like, uh, life advice, you know? Well, I can't really pay my bills with that. Well, you make an hourly wage like everyone else, right? I make $4 an hour. Well, if you don't like how much you get paid, then maybe you should work somewhere else. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck this! <sighs> Boyney, you're home early from work! Yeah, fuck that job. But Boyney, what happened to eight thousand dollars? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to it. Here's my one hour of pay I got, that's four dollars. And here is my tip. Don't step in front of a moving train. Oh, Boyney, that's a good tip! Yeah, try mailing that to the electric company and see if it keeps the lights on. But Boyney, that was just one table and you quit? Yeah, that was the worst experience of my life. What happened? Well, Gordon Ramsay yelled at me and then he burped at me and I think it was supposed to communicate something. Well, Boyney, at least you have a lot of other jobs. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it. Cut up, cut up! <laughs> Okay, Jeffy's in bed, so we can finally just relax and watch a movie. What? Ow! Go! Jeffy, go to bed. We're not playing soccer right now. <sighs> Fine! Go to sleep. <laughs> Who's at the door? It's so late at night. Hello? Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. What are you doing here? I came to get your house payment. Ooh, I don't have my house payment this month. Mm. Do you even have a job, Marvin? No. Oh, okay, so do you ever try looking for one? Well, I have tried, but no one's hiring. That's a lie, because I know you sit on your ass all day on the couch. So you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna come intern at one of my companies, and you're gonna meet me at 8 a.m. tomorrow to pay off your debts, okay? Uh, okay. Or else you're evicted. Uh, 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 but 8 a.m.? Who's at the door, Marvin? It was Goodman. He came for the house payment. I don't have any money, so now he's making me work for him tomorrow morning. Oh, well, at least you have a job now. Yeah, but I'm not getting paid. I gotta go to bed.
building. All right, Marvin, this is my office. You own this building? Yeah, it's one of my many businesses I own and operate. What kind of business do you do here? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. You want some nuts, Marvin? Nuts? Yeah, it's like a medley of cashews and almonds, maybe an M&M or two. No, I'm fine. All right, I just want to let you know that if you screw up, I'm going to rip off your nuts and put them in this container with a little bit of salt, and then I'm going to eat them. Well, I'm not going to mess up, but what's my job? For eight hours a day, you're going to sit your hairy ass at your desk, and you're going to pick up the phone, and then you're going to sell. Sell what? You see your shirt? You're gonna sell your shirt. You see those pins over there? You're gonna sell those pins. You're gonna sell those paper clips. Anything and everything you can get your hands on, you sell. We're gonna be like Amazon, but better. Okay, I got it, sell. Oh, hold on, I'm, I'm getting a phone call. What do you want, Lawrence? I'm in a meeting. I don't have time for this shit, it better be good. Oh, it's the Gregory Brothers? What are they offering? No fucking shit. Are you fucking kidding me? And they think I'm gonna bite on that? No, merge them in, merge them in. Oh, hey, Gregory Brothers, it's me, Mr. Goodman. Yeah, I got your offer, 4%, right? Well, this is what I think of your offer. Uh, if you can hear that, that is the phone going off my ass because your offer is shit. Uh, that's what I think of your offer. Fucking hate the Gregory Brothers. They offered me 4%, and I wipe my ass with 4%. I don't get hard for anything less than 30%. Uh, okay. All right, now, come on, Marvin, let me show you around the office. Okay. All right, Marvin, this is the front desk. Every morning at 8 a.m. sharp, you're gonna check in on this tablet. If you're even a minute late, it's your ass. And this is my receptionist, Susan. Good morning, Mr. Goodman. Thank you. Uh, Susan, what month is it? September, sir. Okay, so it's not October. No, sir. So then why the hell do we have Halloween decorations in a month that's not October? Well, I thought they were cute and festive, sir. Nope. Susan, if a customer comes in here and sees Halloween decorations in a month that's not October, they're going to think we don't know what month it is, and then they're not going to trust us with their money. Do you understand, Susan? Yes, sir. Spanking. <sighs> Ow. We don't have an HR department here. Sir, there's a few things we need to go over. Well, let's go over them. Well, Francis called. He needs the day off because his wife is nine months pregnant and she could go into labor at any moment. No, he's fired. But his wife's about to have a baby. I don't care. He can file for unemployment and have all the days off he wants. Okay, sir. Well, I also need your lunch order for today. Okay, Chick-fil-A sandwich, mayonnaise packet, Chick-fil-A sauce, and a root beer. But, sir, it's Sunday. Chick-fil-A is closed. I don't care. Find a way for them to open up and make me my lunch. Okay, sir. You want anything, Marvin? I'll take a root beer. No, you're an intern. You don't get anything. Uh, oh. sir, the phone's ringing. Answer it. Marvin, the people who work here are stupid. Goodman's Incorporated. Goodman's? It's Goodman. One me, only me, singular. Uh, please hold. Sir, it's your ex-wife. You haven't paid child support this year. Tell her I died. Ma'am, he said he's died. Uh, he, she wants to talk to you. Okay, give me the phone. Which one are you? Oh, small tits? Yeah, I hate you, and I hate the kid, too! Hang it up. Hurry, faster, oh, faster. Okay. You know what, Susan? You know what? Run a lap. Uh, what? Run a lap around the office. Run a lap. You're so slow. Go. Jeez, she's so slow. All right, Marvin, you see those files back there? Those are all of our customer social security numbers. In a single second, whenever I want to, I can ruin their credit. Follow me, Marvin. Okay. All right, Marvin, this is the break room. But you're not allowed in here because you're an intern, and interns don't get breaks. And also, notice as there's no chairs in here, because you're supposed to get your shit and get back to work. <laughs> Susan, faster! The phones are ringing! Uh, I do have a question. Why are we open on Sundays? Because money never sleeps, Marvin. We're the only company on Wall Street that's open on Sundays. We gotta stay ahead of the competition. Now, come on. Let me show you the bathroom. Tell you the rules. All right, Marvin, here is the men and women's bathroom. Notice as I said that. Men and women's. I don't play that shit where sometimes you have a dick and sometimes you have tits. Just go in the bathroom of which thing you have. And if you ever don't know what thing you have, go outside and use the bushes, okay? Hey, you! Someone took a really big dump in there and did not flush. That's my maid, Quinceanera. She cleans my house, but here I have her clean the bathrooms. Also, no banging in the bathrooms between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. That's my hours. Wait, Mr. Gumi, are you ready now? Because someone took a really big thinking in the toilet. Go flush it! Okay. All right, Marvin, meet me back in the office in three minutes. Hold on, Quinceanera, how bad does it smell in there? Oh, it's mucho stinky. All right, Marvin, five minutes. It's blumpkin time. Sorry about that, Marvin. I like to relieve stress before lunch. Speaking of lunch... Susan! Lunch! 
fired! It's right here, sir. Oh, wow, you actually got it. Yes, I know someone that works at Chick-fil-A, and he opened up for me. Okay. Shoo. Marvin, is my trash can over there? Yeah, it is. Can you put that in it? Wait, you want me to throw it away? Yeah, I'm not gonna eat it. I don't want that. I just give her impossible tasks to see if she can do it. I'm looking for a reason to fire her. I guess I'll just try again next month. Okay. I mean, can I eat it? No, you're an intern! Nuts! Uh, well, where do I work? Oh, let me show you your desk, come on. All right, Marvin, this is your desk. And you see that phone over there? You pick up that phone and you grab a phone book and you call any and every number that you can find. And you sell, sell, sell. If you don't make me at least $10,000 a day, you're costing me money. That, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, it is, but we don't play around here, okay? If you need me, I'm under here, Mr. Gloomin. Um... Hey, 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 wrong desk. Mine's over there, okay? Sorry, Mr. Gloomin. Sorry about that. Taco Bell doesn't know where she's at. But uh, if you ever find her crawling underneath your desk, just kick her. She'll know where to go. Now you pick up that phone and you get to selling, mister. Uh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll try. Okay, come on, hopefully this works. Hello? Hello, sir. My name is Marvin. I work at Goodman Incorporated. How's your day going? Oh, my day is going fantastic. How about yours? It's going just lovely. So I have an opportunity for you today to buy stuff. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm listening. What are you selling? Well, we, we're selling a whole bunch of pens. Like, so many pens. Okay, what color pens? Uh, we got some purple and blue. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not really interested in pens. Okay, well, you can buy the shirt that I'm wearing. It has a tie. Ooh, yeah, I'm not really interested in that, but if you had some used women's panties, I would totally buy. Uh, no, we don't sell used women's panties. Well, then I'm not interested. Bye! <sighs> Hey Marvin, you see this? What, what is that? It's a doctor's note from Tyler. And you know what we do with doctor's notes? What? We put them in the shredder, because they're no good here. What? You shred doctor's notes? Yeah, I don't care if you have cancer or COVID, you're coming to work! The, the phone's ringing. Answer it! Okay. Thank you for calling Goodman Incorporated. This is Marvin. How may I help you? This is the Gregory Brothers. Is Goodman there? Uh, please hold. It's the Gregory Brothers. Well, ask them if they took their head out of their ass and they're ready to make a deal. What are they offering? Goodman would like to know what you're offering. We are ready to offer Goodman 24%. They're going to offer you 24%. <laughs> 24%? What is that, 12% for each of them to shove it up their ass? Uh, you heard that, right? Yeah, you tell Goodman we want a meeting. He would like a meeting with you. Well, I won't even consider a meeting until they're offering 30%. He won't consider a meeting unless you give him 30%. Oh, uh, well, you tell Goodman we want a meeting and we'll make it worth his time. They're saying it's going to be worth it. Okay, well, if they want a meeting, I'll give them a meeting. But if they screw me, their nuts are going at my Tupperware. Uh, okay. Now hang up, they're listening, come on. Okay. All right, Marvin, you're coming with. So come on. Okay. All right, Marvin, if the Gregory Brothers offer me anything less than 30%, I want you to stand up on this table, pull your pants down, and take a shit. And then I want you to eat it and say I'd rather eat my own shit than take this deal. I'm not going to do that. Have you eaten today? You wouldn't let me. Darn it, you're supposed to be brewing up a shit. But don't worry, I have one. So I'll shit on the table, and then you eat my shit and say I'd rather eat his shit than take this deal. I'm not going to do that. What's this meeting about? Well, listen, the Gregory Brothers own Velveeta, and they need my money to stay afloat because Kraft is killing them in sales. But little do they know I own Kraft. So that's why I need at least 30% on this deal to monopolize the cheese industry. And then I can sell cheese to Mickey Mouse or whoever the fuck eats cheese. Ratatouille as fuck. Oh wait, they're coming in. Hello, Goodman. I am Greg. Unfortunately, my brother couldn't make it because he's sick. So instead, I brought my brother from another mother, Tyrone. What's cracking, fellow businessman? All right, let's cut the cheese and get down to the cheddar. All right, I have my sales chart from last week. Tyrone, help me. Uh oh, my bad. Jeez. So, you'll see at Monday at Market Open, we were up 10% in sales. Unfortunately, Tuesday and Wednesday, we dropped 20%. Well, you tell me, Tiki Head, why'd you shit so hard on Tuesday and Wednesday? We had an outbreak of E. coli in the workforce. Yeah, a lot of bubble goods. And how'd you recover so fast? Well, we released a new mac and cheese cup, and it went wild. Oh, I love macaroni and cheese cups. But I have a question. Why are your tits out? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I just didn't want to ask. I forgot my shirt. All right, well, I'm not interested in your weekly cheese chart. Tell me what you're gonna offer me for me to help you. Oh, you're gonna love this. I have an even bigger chart. This is the new board. So, Goodman, cheese? Yes. All right, now that that's out of the way, we're willing to offer you 47% ownership of our company in exchange for $20 million of your money, and we'll pay you back $5 million quarterly in royalties. Or we'll give you 25% ownership of our company for $10 million of your money with no royalties. 
Marvin shit on the table. But they're offering you 47% and you only wanted 30. I know, but I really wanted 51%. Don't tell them that. <sighs> Fine. All right, milk jug tits. I actually want 51% of the company. Ooh. See, I don't know if we can give up that much of the company. Okay, okay, how about 51% but no royalties? Marvin, shit on the table. What? I want you to shit on the table right now. <gasps> what, what is she doing? He's gonna take a shit on your table unless you give me 53% and I get to smack those big man tits. Oh, 53%? I don't know if I can give up that much of the company. Uh, Tyrone, come here. What's up? Whisper, 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 whisper. Whisper, whisper, Okay, okay, got it, got it. All right, Mr. Goodman, I have one question for you. Do you like cheese? Does it look like I like fucking cheese? You have yourself a deal. All right, Marvin, let's get out of here. Don't look back. Marvin, that was spectacular. I think it was you almost shitting on the table that got us the deal. What? Marvin here helped me land a deal with Velveeta to where now I own 50% of the company. Wow. Damn right, wow. See the hat? Cheesy as fuck. Now, Marvin, remember, Sunday to Sunday, 8 a.m. Don't be late. We're counting on you. Well, now you have a job at least. Yeah, but I don't think Goodman's a good Hey, Dan, can I play with these bop it? Sure, Jeffy. I score five. Bop it. Ow! Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Bop it. Ow. Give me that goddamn thing. Oh, hello. Hey, you lost, Danny. He never said throw it. Oh, I want to kill you, Jeffy. Answer the door! Answer the door! Screw this! There's someone at the door, Marvin. Duh! <laughs> Hello? Please! Hide me! I can't do this anymore! Hide you from who? From Goodman! I don't want to work for him anymore! He treats me so badly! So I stole his car and ran away! You stole his car? Yes! So please! Hide me! Oh, come, come inside! Who's at the door, Marvin? This is old man, I gotta hide him. Yes, hide me, please. Who is he? Don't ask questions, uh, hide behind here. Ugh. Oh, crap, breathe. Yeah, that looks good. What's going on? Uh, oh no, that must be Goodman. Don't tell him I'm here. Uh, hello? Where is he? Where's his old ass? Who are you talking about? Don't you bullshit me, Marvin, I'm talking about Chuck. He stole my Lamborghini and parked it out front. Wait, your Lamborghini's here? Marvin, don't you bullshit me. I swear to God, you better tell me where he is or I'm gonna give you a spanking. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> All right, Marvin, I'll give you $10,000 if you tell me where he is. He's behind the couch cushion. You don't give a goddamn 10 grand. I'm gonna go upstairs and give him a spanking with it. Hmm, I wonder where Chives is. Aha! Oh, no, you found me. Oh, 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 stop hitting him. You stay out of this, Marvin. This is between me and Chives. Now, Chives, bend that ass over. It's spanking time. Yes, sir. This is for running away. <laughs> this is for stealing my Lamborghini. <laughs> and this is for being old. <laughs> Stop spanking him. He likes it. I don't like it, sir, and I don't like you. You're just on your butler period. Men don't get periods, sir. It's 2023. Yes, they do. I don't like the way you treat me. You don't like the way I treat you? I gave you a room under the staircase like Harry Potter. Everyone likes Harry Potter. You know what? I quit. <gasps> you can't quit. You're poor. Who else is going to hire an 80 year old man to wipe their ass? Only me. Plus, you get to shave my balls. That's an honor, Chives. I don't want to do that anymore. Well, then I can't do this anymore. I can't have a butler that doesn't want to wipe my ass or shave my balls. You know what? Fine. If you want to quit, quit. But you'll never see money like this ever again. <sighs> Smells like your ass, Chives, and I'm gonna go spend it so I never have to smell your ass ever again! That was very brave of you to stand up to Mr. Goodman like that. But now I have no job! I'll be homeless! Well, Marvin, we could use some help around the house. Really? So you'll hire me then? Well, we don't have any extra money. How much was Goodman paying you? He was paying me nothing. He just let me sleep in a broom closet underneath the stairs. Then why'd you work for him for so long? Because he paid my entire family $20 million each to never speak to me again, so I had nowhere else to go. That's so sad. Well, look, we can't really pay you right now, but we have a bed for you to sleep in. A bed? What an upgrade! I used to have to sleep in a litter box underneath the stairs, so I'll take the job. Now, let's go get those balls shaved, sir. No, you you don't have to shave my balls. What? what So, do you have to take a poop soon? Shall I wipe your bum with my bare hand? No, you don't have to do that either. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Well, go do butler things. Go clean the house. <gasps> Shall I mop the floor with my tongue, sir? No, you can use a mop. <gasps> How generous! 
Shall I fill the bucket with my spit, or am I allowed to use water? You can use water. Wow. Hey, Danny, I found my ball pit. Oh, that's what you could do. You could go play with Jeffy. I'm not sure I know what the word play means there. We can go have fun. I don't think I know what that one means either. Well, go smile and laugh. I haven't smiled in years. Jeffy, go show him a fun time. All right, come on, old man. Okay. Okay, see, look, he can start babysitting Jeffy. Don't touch the sides. No, oh, I hate this game. Hey, Junior, check out my pet old man. I am not his pet. I am his butler. Hi. Hello, sir. Jeffy, you want to play Operation with me? That's lame. We can just operate on you. But I don't believe you two are qualified doctor. Shut up and lay right here. Very well, sir. All right, Junior, take his eye. Well, not my eye. I need those to see. Ow! How about we play something else? All right, well, how about throw, throw, burrito? Well, how do you play that game? Well, we take these burritos and throw them at you. Ow! Oh, is there anything else we can play? <gasps> we can play stair tag. Ooh, is that like tag but you can't blink? No, come here, stair tag. All right. So there's the stairs. Now tag. Oh, ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Danny, I broke my new old friend. What'd you do? We were playing stair tag. What stair tag? Come on, I'll show you. Don't do it. He's going to push you down the stairs. <gasps> you pushed him down the stairs, Jeffy. Jeffy, we told you not to do that to people anymore. Well, guess what? I'm going to keep fucking doing it. What, Jeffy? No. No. Stop it. Bad. What is he doing? He's smacking his diaper. But why does he have a diaper? Isn't he grown? It's in case I poop my pants. But then won't your pants get dirty? No, because I'm wearing a diaper. But your diaper's on the outside of your pants. Yeah, so it doesn't get dirty. He's not making any sense. He never does. Jeffy, just go run around. Okay. Okay, so listen, you don't have to play with him anymore. Thank God. But how about you just go make us something to eat? Ooh, shall I cook you some peppercorn for le mignon, medium rare, with a loaded baked potato? Ooh. No, we don't have that kind of money. How about you just make us a bologna sandwich? What is bologna? Ooh, is that peasant food? Yeah. Yes, it is. So go make us two bologna sandwiches. Very well, sir. I like having a butler. Mm-mm-mm, my mystery pasta's almost done. Wait, what the hell? Wait, who's that in my kitchen? Hey, get out of my refrigerator! Not in Pippi's kitchen! Get out of here! Now, where is that baloney? Hey, bitch! Excuse me? Nah, ho, what you doing going in my refrigerator? Master Marvin told me to make him a sandwich. Nah, nah, I'm the only chef in this kitchen! This is my kitchen! This is Pippi's kitchen! Why are you barking at me? I'm just trying to make a baloney sandwich for Master Marvin, so could you please show me where the baloney is? Oh, I'll show you! The baloney right here! Oh, why did you punch me? Because you're in my turf! You don't need to be going to my refrigerator without my permission! Look, I'm not looking to fight! Oh, well, I am! Oh, 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 so you want to play dirty then, do you? Well, I'll show you dirty! On guard! You sure you want this shit? Are you sure you want this shit? You close to your casket, old man! Oh, oh yeah, you want to play dirty, huh? Oh, you filthy whore! Your father was a hamster, and your mother smelt of elderberries! Don't talk about my mama like that when I had your mama in the bed with me last night! No! Please, have mercy! Oh, hell no! Hey, Marvin, here's your bitch. Yeah, he thought he was running shit, till he got ran over. So woo! What happened? I asked him where the baloney was. What? Yes, apparently that's his turf, so he beat my ass. He does not own the kitchen. Look, can you just go down to the fridge and grab me a Lunchable? No, that's his fridge. I won't go back down there. Okay, so you can't cook. You can't play with Jeffy. I'm trying to think of something you can do. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I took a massive dump in the toilet and it clogged it, but I still had to keep pooping, so I took the lid off the back of the toilet and pooped in there. And then every time I flushed it, it kept putting more poop back into the toilet and then eventually overflowed onto the floor. And I thought I was going to be helpful and get a mop and clean it up. But every time I did that, it kept smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it. And I still had to go poop, so I pooped more in the bathtub. Oh, that's what you can do. You can go clean that mess. Oh, great. How riveting. Thank you. Someone's at the door, Marvin. I hear it. You yeah, I don't have ears. I heard it. Jeff, you heard it? Mm-hmm. I heard it. 
Hello? Hello, Mr. Morvan. What's going on? I'm Mr. Gomez's maid, but me no want to work for him no more, and I heard that you hired Mr. Chai, so I was wondering if maybe you could hire me too. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hire Mr. Chives. I just gave him a place to stay. Please, please, I promise that you hire me. I'll thank you like every single day. I'll thank you until my jog is tired. And even if my jog is too tired, you can still use any of my other thank you hours. Oh, no, 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 listen. Just come inside. Oh, you can do that too in any of my thank you hearts. Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, no saying thank you. Just come inside and let's, let's talk to my wife. Okay. Who is at the door, Marvin? My name Patricia, but Mr. Goodman give me very many nicknames like Jimmy Changa, Quesadilla, Burrito, Taco Bell, and Stupid Ho. The list goes on and on. This is Mr. Goodman's maid. Well, what is she doing here? She wants a job because she thinks we hired chives. But Marvin, we can't pay her. Let me explain that to her. If we hire you, we won't be able to pay you money. You know I speak English, right? You don't have to speak so slow. Listen, we won't be able to pay you. We're just letting Chai stay here. That's okay. Mr. Goodman don't pay me either. Then why do you work for him? Because I'm a citizen, and Mr. Goodman friend don't have me deported unless I thank him. So, if you let me stay here, I'll thank you, like, all the time. Like, if you're stressed out, let me thank you. If you're riding in your car, let me thank you. If your wife no thank you, let me thank you. What does thank you mean? Oh, it means I like to say... Hey, it means she likes to say thank you. See, sometimes Mr. Goodman made me thank him so much, my throat get very sore. Oh, from saying it over and over again? No, from the your welcome juice. Uh, listen, I feel really bad for... Maybe we should let her stay here for a few days. <gasps> You're going to let me stay? Let me thank you. No, 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 do that. Okay. What is going on? By the way... How long is your, your welcome stick? Because Mr. Gumi is like really big. Like at least 14 inches. What is she talking about? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, please, please. If it's Mr. Gumi, don't let him find me. I'm trying to hide. Uh, hold on. Hello? Where is she? Where the hell is Quesadilla? And don't you dare lie to me like you did last time. <sighs> she's upstairs. She didn't thank you, did she? Because if she did, that would ruin her to me. No, but she's offered a lot. Ooh, I'm coming in. Now, where's Chimichanga? Don't look behind the couch cushion. Chimichanga not here right now. God, you're so dumb. Oh, no, you found me. Don't let me thank you. Why did you run away, Taco Salad? I thought I treated you great. You made me thank you so much. My frog is very sore. And you called me mean names. Well, I'm sorry, Nachos Belgrande. It's just so hard for me to remember your name. My name Patricia. All right, Pico de Gallo. I'll try harder next time. Goodman, don't you think if you respected your workers, they'd want to work for you? I'm rich! I don't know how poor people think. Well, maybe if you paid them, they'd want to work for you. Pay them, like, money? But then I'd have less of it. Well, listen, listen. What if I asked you to make me a sandwich? No! Okay, now what if I said I'll give you $1,000 to make me a sandwich? Yes! See? See how money made you want to do it? Huh. Yeah, money did make me want to make you a sandwich. So you're telling me that if I pay my employees, that they'll actually want to work for me? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess, Churro, I'll pay you $10 an hour. Oh! Go wait in the car. I'll be there in a minute, and then you can thank me as much as you want. See. Si. Now, where's Chives? He's cleaning the bathroom. All right, I'm going to give him some money, too. Ugh, disgusting. That was the most fecal matter I've ever seen. Hey, Chives. Oh, sir, what are you doing here? I came to give you a spanking. Ah! I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about it, Chives, and my balls need to be shaved because there's a little bit of peach fuzz on them. I told you I wouldn't do that anymore, sir. Well, I'm willing to pay you $5 an hour. <gasps> but... But sir, that's so much money! How will you afford it? I don't know. I'll probably have to sell a couple cars or live on the side of the road or maybe we'll even rent out your little Harry Potter closet. <gasps> Thank you so much, sir! Now let's go get those balls shaved. All right, but you're driving because sour cream's got to thank me, so come on. Very well, sir. Marvin, you did some good today. You got two people back their jobs with pay. Yeah, but no one thanked me. Well, let me thank you. <laughs>